hey guys i am riyad and in this video i will show you how you can create a wireframe using the astra theme and also the Strata template plugin from brainstorm force so if you want to take your web design process to the next level from concept to design then this video is only for you because in this video i will show you the step-by-step -step process of how to create a wireframe using the astra theme and Strata template also at the end of this video i will share with you another tips on how to Take your wireframe design to the next level using the Astra single page Strata template. So without further any delay, let's jump into my computer. Now hopefully you can see my computer screen and for this tutorial I have created this uh, website. I just start using Strata template here. So first of all let me show you how I created this uh, website and which theme and plugins currently I'm using for making this home page if i go to any other page let's click about it's completely empty page if i go to services testimonials and other page all of them are empty pages now if i go to my dashboard so i already logged in in my dashboard and here you can see currently i'm using the wordpress version which is 5.9.2 and which is the latest version so if i go to appearance and click themes as you can see currently i'm using astra theme so which is one of the most popular wordpress theme and if you want to know more about the astra you can simply navigate to the wordpress.org or you can type on google just simply astra theme so here you can navigate themes and you can simply type here astra or instead typing you can also view this theme on popular list it's on the third position right now so if i click over here here you can see the ratings and other things which is really great about this theme now let's go back to the dashboard again and if i go to pages so here you can see i have created those pages uh, before creating this video now I have to install a plugin which is called Stata template and for this video I'll be using Gutenberg editor so I'm going to click on plugins add new and type here Stata template click install now so make sure you're installing the brainstorm force by brainstorm force which is stata templates and currently it's one plus million active installations so it's really amazing now click on activate so as you can see inside my plugins directory there is only three plugins the first one is bulk page creator so if you don't know what is bulk page creator i have created another tutorial and i will attach the link into the descriptions and also you can take a look at the card where you can view the link regarding this bulk page creator tutorial so now let's go to pages for an example i would like to create about page so if you have content or if you do not have the content and you just want to show the about page to your client so for an example your client just wanted to ask you just create some random pages or create all the required pages for his website or her website so you all you have to just create all the pages using some dummy text or dummy content so the best way and the best thing is you can simply use the wireframing previously we did wireframing using uh, any tools like figma or xd or any other third party tools that we have used for wireframing but you can currently use the wireframing features inside your wordpress dashboard so now for adding wireframe or adding the layout all you have to click on stata templates and here you can see three tabs the first one is pages the second one is patterns and the third one is wireframes in another video i will discuss about the pages and patterns and stata template in depth but currently in this video i will show you how wireframe works now i'm going to click wireframes so basically if you take a look at the left side here you can see all the categories and the color filter now you can choose dark mode or you can choose a light mode it's completely up to you 
basically we follow this uh, scenario based on our clients requirements now I'm going to select light mode here because the website is if you take a look at the website let me show you it's on light mode right now go back to the about page again and here you can see the light mode so inside the about page basically we would like to use some kind of section for about us so now I'm going to click on about and here you can see four uh, block items which is refers to the about section so you can just choose any of them and you can simply click import so I would like to use this one so I just click on import now and here you can see the about page uh, about section looks like this so if I click on update and view the page I'm going to open a new tab here so that I can keep back again uh, into the editor without uh, just uh, navigating from scratch or from the dashboard again now here you can see the about page looks like this now I'm going to just uh, reduce or remove the other information like the I, I do not want to display the title here and I would like to make it full width and I would like to remove the box mode from here so let me show you how you can uh, do it easily from your editor just go back to your editor and select Astra settings from here and here you can see the customizer uh, which is the sidebar is customizer settings the content layout is coming from customizer settings so you can always change it from customizers and it will apply globally on every single pages and posts but I would like to change it individually for individual pages at this moment now I'd like to use content layout full width content and see how it works click on update and go to the about page and reload the page again so as you can see the page looks perfect right but I would like to disable the about text from here just go back to the about page again and here you can see inside the page elements so make sure you have selected the Astra settings and scroll down here you can see the page elements you can easily disable the title from here and also I do not want to use featured image in case you uploaded the featured image here uh, so that it won't display there so I'd like to also disable the featured image so there are lots of other features you can disable above header primary header below header and also mobile header as well so make sure this settings is only applicable for this about page it will not going to change other pages I'm not changing this from customizer it's for individual pages not pages page well <laughs> so i just messed up the pages and page and sometimes i, I did that also uh, with plugins and plugin well so just uh, i'm just start making tutorial and if i made any mistake just forget about them and uh, you can also also mention inside the comment box now as you can see the about page looks like this so this is just a simple wireframe you your client will provide you the image and necessary content for this section now I'm going to add some other sections here so you can simply just click over here and click Stata templates and I would like to use some in other sections related to the about page so let's go back to the call to action so I would like to use call to action but not right now just uh, some kind of like team I would like to use team member sections here click import now as you can see the team member section import at the top right so I would like to take them uh, at the bottom and keep the first one which is I have added previously at the top so let's just select the area so if you cannot select them from here currently I'm using smaller skin for creating this tutorial because if I uh, used a wider skin then uh, the text will be uh, smaller and you cannot view it properly so for this Gutenberg layout I would like to change my screen size from here and as you can see it looks like this so I'd like to just click on update and reload the page so that it uh, just makes some more space here so as you can see 
uh, it's wider and looks different than the previous one right now i'd like to take this section at the top just select over here if you cannot select you can always navigate from the list view item so if i click on list view here you can see like the elementor the group options and the second group is this one now i would like to drag the second group at the top let's drag it so it's very simple right and there is another one paragraph i do not want to use paragraph so just remove it and also at the bottom there is a paragraph i do not want to use this at this moment and close this one so you can close just click over here or here and as you can see it looks like this click on update go to about page and reload the page so now the about page looks like this so there is another section that i would like to add here just click on the Stata template again go to wireframes and take a look at call to action and here you can see i really like this one just click import and i have imported here and there is another one that i would like to use which is uh, frequently asked questions so if you want uh, you can add more section here for your client so it's completely depend on the website that you are building right now for your client so you can also add portfolio you can also add testimonials it's completely up to you uh, because uh, there are many projects that uh, if your projects is related to the photography if your projects is related to the web design or development so the about page will be different and you have to understand uh, what kind of projects you're working right now and then you have to apply the wireframe based on your clients requirements so i'm just going to show you a demo video that's why i'd like to use some random stuff from here now let's add frequent last question section so i would like to use this one just for test purpose now click on update and reload the about page so as you can see this page looks like this and the purpose is the uh, what is the purpose for this wireframing so after completing the wireframing of this about page uh, what i did basically i would like to just send my client let's say my client name is adam and i would like to send it to the adam and say hey adam i just created the about page wireframing you can add content or you can provide me content and i will upload the content i will upload the images and if you want any changes inside any section you can just send me the information and also i will apply all the color and background color even uh, more features after receiving content from you so it's a very easy process you don't have to do thousands of or hundreds of modification again and again and again so it saves a lot of time now i'm going to add some uh, information here so let's click on image and click replace click media library go to free images so if you are installed if you have installed the strata template you will be able to use free image from pixabay so let's choose from here and just for an example i do not want to spend a lot of time here so save and insert click over here now as you can see i have added this image and i can change all of them from here one by one so i would like to use from media library at this moment i can use the similar image from here so it's very simple and also if you don't know uh, the gutenberg uh, i will have another project or series tutorial which is related to the gutenberg and i will convert a figma design into the gutenberg step by step so hopefully that video will be very helpful for you to understand how to convert any design or any website which is designed using figma into a real wordpress website so i have changed all of them from here and let's click over here to change the background color so if you want to change anything from here or inside the column or inside the section all you have to just select if you cannot select them properly just click over here and hover over so you can navigate always from here make sure you have selected the group properly 
now I have selected the group here and click on settings click color and here you can see the background color you can choose any background color based on your clients requirements so I would like to use at this moment not white a little bit darker let's click update and reload the page so as you can see this is our uh, first section and the second section and the third section looks like this it looks perfect and you can also change uh, other sections as well you can also do the same thing for uh, other sections and you can create even more sections here now i would like to show you another tricks which is really not inside the wireframe but it's related to the starter template that we are using right now inside our astra theme so let me show you the beautiful and most useful features that i also used to build my client's website just navigate to the service page and simply change the layout here so without changing the layout let's click on the starter templates and here you can see pages you can simply type here services and now here you can see all the services or service related page all together here you can choose any of them and you can simply import them inside your service page so it's very easy and straightforward process let's choose any of them from here so for this video i would like to choose this one from here and click import service template now as you can see we just imported our service template here and it looks like this so if i click on update and go to our service page as you can see it looks like this which is not so good right so we have to fix the layout so first of all we have to navigate to the astra settings here and change the custom layout or content layout to full width content and after that disable the title and also disable the featured image from here click on update again go to service page and reload the page now as you can see the service page looks perfect and it's working perfectly as expected so this is how the stata template works and also you can uh, use stata template for creating unlimited pages and there are lots of features here i just shared with you the possibilities and uh, the way that you could use on your client's website to build wireframe also there are lots of other ways that you can follow your client website so there are lots of other plugins for creating wireframe inside wordpress so if you are using any of them or if you are familiar any of them then you can share with us and you can also share the link inside the comment section so that i can take a look and i can create another video for you and that's all for today if you have any other questions regarding this video or any suggestions for this video specifically then you can suggest me and you can also ask your question inside the comment section so if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and also press the bell notification icon so that when I upload any new video, you will get notified. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.